What's up Average Dad fans, welcome back to another video and it's this, the OnePlus Watch 2. I want to give you my first impressions after the day and talk about why this might be the best smartwatch in the world. Ah, oh, bold statement alert. Let's go. Now, I have done something sneaky. I'd done this a while ago and I've done it again today. Throughout this video, I have left a 10 digit code. Yes, it may appear big, it may appear tiny, it may appear in the corner. Yes, it absolutely helps with retention. Um, sorry, I'm just gonna call it out, but it does. So be sure that there'll be a code, a number or two at the end of the video. Ultimately, the 10 digit code is for a giveaway. I got the OnePlus Buds 3 with the purchase of the watch. Well, I don't need them. I've still got an unopened pair of OnePlus Buds Pro 2 that I got with a phone. So I definitely don't need these. Anybody that gives me the right code in the comment section of this video, again, helps with engagement algorithm, but if you put the right code in this video, I will review the video comments tomorrow, put all the people that get the right code into a hat, and I will draw someone. No matter where you live, you are not excluded. One thing about my giveaways on the channel is I will not exclude anybody no matter where you are. So, keep an eye out, let's go on with the video. Now before I get into the specs of this watch, there's two things I want to shout out. The first thing being the price. The OnePlus Watch 2, and again I'll talk about the specs in a second, but trust me, this price is mind-blowing. The OnePlus Watch 2 is £299 retail, but with early bird deals, and if you're a member of the Red Cable Club, which is free to join, I got my OnePlus Watch 2 for £219. And I got a pair of OnePlus Buds 3 for free. Now these retail at £100. £219 for both of these I wanted to shout that out because A, I would tell you the price anyway, and B, OnePlus are doing incredible things when it comes to technology, prices, and just overall improvements. Now, this doesn't just go for the OnePlus Watch 2, which is a like far superior upgrade to the OnePlus Watch. This goes deeper. This goes to the new OnePlus Open. OnePlus's first foray into foldable phones and they just happened to make my foldable phone of 2023. At the start of the year, they also brought out the OnePlus 12, which, if you don't know already, is one of the best phones of the year and comes in with deals at a fantastically low flagship price. So OnePlus are doing good things. I have to shout that out. Let's talk about the watch. Now, the first thing that we have to discuss is the design. In my opinion, this is how a smartwatch should look. Apple, take note, I love your watch ultra, but a circular designed smartwatch is more elegant and just a bit more practical. Now, the OnePlus Watch 2 comes in one size and unfortunately in this case, one size is not going to fit all. 47 millimeters is big. Now on my wrist, it looks fine. I've got fairly large wrists, but if you're of the slighter build, this watch might just rule you out. Now there's two variants, There's and they're both stainless steel. There's a radiant steel and a black steel. Ultimately a shiny steel and a more anodized steel. I've gone for the shiny one with the green strap, and straight away, the strap feels premium. The watch itself is super premium and heavy. At 80 grams, it's not the lightest smartwatch. But for me, the more weight makes it feel more premium. And it is using premium materials. Now, is that to say that through time, the radiant steel isn't going to scratch up and look a bit worn? Yeah, 
probably is. But it's a watch you're going to wear every day. It's made to get beaten up. And at the end of the day, if a couple of years it breaks or whatever happens, I've spent £220. I'll survive. Now moving on to the display, the main event. 1.4 inch, it's a stunner. Overall, it's like a 500 ppi resolution, which again is up there with the very best. Everything to this point so far is screaming premium watch, which you would expect to pay around about four to five hundred pounds. So please keep in mind that this is less than half that price. Now, as far as other build quality features, it's IP68 water and dust resistant. You can go swim to your heart's content. You can get down to five atmospheres, so 50 meters past that point. Technically, the watch might explode, but between you and I, it, it won't. You can probably get to 100 meters. Not the average dad is saying officially that you can go to 100 meters. Officially, it's 50 meters of depth. But yeah, they're always giving a bit of leeway when it comes to those tests. Now the screen has a thousand nits of peak brightness, again putting it up there with the very best smartwatches on the market. Now let's talk about the internals and software features. And this is where the true benefits of the OnePlus Watch 2 actually shine through. There is not only a Snapdragon chip on board, but there's a separate chip. It's called the Bez or something. It's essentially the RTOS chip. So it runs all the time, doing things like step counting, heart rate monitor, all the tasks that work in the background. But as soon as you wake up your phone and go into the Play Store or Spotify or whatever app you want to use on your watch, the Snapdragon W5 chip kicks in. And what this means is that this watch has tremendous battery life for an AMOLED bright smartwatch with push notifications, a colourful display, an always on display. It, it's no Garmin, but that's a different type of watch. For what this is competing with, the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6, the Apple Watch Series 9, this can get up to four days or a hundred hours battery. And that's in smart mode. You don't even have to put in a power saver mode or turn your watch off at night time. This is going to run and track your sleep for that four days of battery life, which to me is a biggie. Now I got the watch yesterday, roughly 24 hours ago. I'm not sure what the percentage was at when I got it, but here you can see it's still sitting at 42% after setup and use and downloading music. And we'll get to that in a second. So really impressed with the battery. Because with my Galaxy Watch 6, I'm not going to lie, there's constant battery anxiety. And I should say as well, on that note, I am using my S24 Ultra. All you need to do to get all the software features from the watch is download the O Health app. The app itself is, well, it's like any other smartwatch app. It's got all your watch faces and steps and health data and you can choose which notifications you want either through the app or you can do it straight from the watch as well. But with the Samsung and the OnePlus watch, everything syncs seamlessly. Now I mentioned as well about music, you can choose to use Spotify or YouTube music. I downloaded some songs onto YouTube music and one thing I did find really cool was that obviously you can sync to your Bluetooth headphones, but I was just sitting beside my LG C1 TV and automatically it found it and started to play songs through that, as you can see here. So yeah, I know this isn't exclusive to the OnePlus watch. I know that Wear OS 4, the latest and greatest, can do this with all Wear OS 4 devices, but it was pretty cool. Being an Apple Watch Ultra user mainly, it's always nice to find little things that these Wear OS watches can do. Now, as far as connectivity goes, it's Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. There's no eSIM support on this device. So if you've got your phone with you, you can take calls, make calls. The mic on this is pretty good. I've not had enough chance to test it outside, but certainly indoors, you can hear it crystal clear. It's a Wear OS watch, so it's got every Google 
app and feature from Maps to Google Assistant, Google Pay. Everything's just seamlessly integrated with this watch, which again, shout out to OnePlus because their phones also have that seamless Google integration. Now there's a whole load of customization you can do from list view of the apps to grid view or make it look like an Apple Watch Ultra. There's obviously 20 plus watch faces and a hundred thousand more you can download from the Play Store directly from the watch. All that's available in there, but this is my first impressions and I don't think you want to see that. If you're looking for customizing a Wear OS 4 watch, then there's other YouTube videos for that. So this has just been my quick first impressions of the OnePlus Watch 2. Suffice to say, I am suitably impressed with the price, the design, the build quality, the features, the functionality. Everything has just, yeah, blown me away. And maybe it'll lead to me selling my Galaxy Watch or my Apple Watch Ultra. I can't see this going anywhere. Certainly not leaving my wrist anytime soon. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button. Try and get me to 20,000 subscribers as well while you're at it. We are about 3,000 away, so, I mean, come on. I'm surely worth 20k. Until next time.